Hello mga to Jamir and you're watching Hornbill TV's Prime at 9, now news and details. A Naga boy reportedly drowned in a river in Roki of Uttarakhand. The incident took place around 3.30 p.m. on February 27. However, the Uttarakhand police and the RF, SDRF personnel and the other officials were informed only yesterday and search operations activated since then. Today marks the second day of the search operation. However, Hornbill TV was informed that the body of the boy has not been retrieved yet. The cause of the unfaithful incident is yet to be ascertained. One of the oldest hospitality sector undertaking of the government of Nagaland is the Hotel Saramati, located at Supermarket in Dimapur under the administrative ambit of Nagaland Hotels Limited, offering quality services and numerous facilities. The hotel is considered to be at par with other luxury hotels, but most importantly at affordable prices. Let's have a look. We are here at Hotel Saramati in Dimapur and this hotel has been taken over by the government in 2001 and it has changed a lot since the past few decades and uh, the maintenance, a lot of amenities has been uh, improved in this hotel and we have here Ali Imchin, the manager of the hotel to give us a little uh, input and view of the entire hotel. I just want you to come around and then I'll show you our hotel, the facilities, amenities that we have for our guests. So this is our first reception. I'll show you this is the first the guest we receive here. This is the reception. This lounge is especially like catering for the small corporate meetings and then small meetings only. And then uh, it can like accommodate at about 70 to 80 percent at the most yeah so is this lounge this uh, for meetings and all meant only for government anybody can hire this place especially uh, for birthday parties and then small anniversary gatherings yeah they used to hire this area i mean this place at this moment we have uh, indian chinese cuisines and then continental and even local also. has two floors with 30 rooms and various types of rooms so let's check it out we're here at the premium deluxe room now and sir can you tell us a bit about what makes this room uh, more different than the deluxe rooms okay uh, premium deluxe is the room size is a bit bigger than the normal deluxe one and then the furnitures then the beds and then all those things is a bit on the higher end that's the difference Finally, we have arrived at the suite of Hotel Saramati and this uh, has two rooms, one where you can sit and enjoy with your family, have a meeting or gather with your friends. It has a dining table and the seating area plus, is, uh, as I can tell the camera person, uh, just to come and see that the bedroom is very much private from the seating area and uh, it accommodates a double occupancy.
It has 30 rooms with four categories and it ranges from a deluxe to the premium deluxe, the premium executive and the suite. The price ranges as low as 1,350 rupees to rupees 6,000 with or without breakfast. Reporter Esther with camera person Seye for Hornbill TV. Music World at Niamo Lotha Road in Dimapur has been providing quality musical instruments of top brand from across the world for the last 14 years. Hornbill TV had a chat with the manager of the store and got an insight on what it's like to be a part of the music world in the state. here at Music World which is located at the heart of Dimapur town at Nyamulotha Road and uh, we have here the manager sir can you tell us a little bit about uh, Music World. My name is Debu. I look after product specialist and marketing head. Uh, we deal in a lot of music, musical plus public address systems that are used in church and we have pianos we deal in all kinds of music stores and we also give services for some of the major brands such as Yamaha, Electro Voice, JBL and we, it was incorporated in 2017 and we have a total of 2000 square feet area of display and we also deal in international brands such as Beer Dynamics and Tanoi Speakers and yeah, we are just craving to the customers whatever needs they have so they can come inside and have a look we have a lot of displays and Compared to other places and all, we have faced a lot of uh, customers who are very keen in music and all. So we decided to keep all the major brands that are possible with us. Uh, what various type of musical instruments do, uh, does, does music will have? Normally we have pianos with us, uh, drums, electric guitars, acoustic guitars, electric drums. And plus we have speakers, we do church installations, any kind of soundproofing, uh, sound reinforcement, public address systems, uh, commercial address systems, uh, where you put speakers in malls and everything. And so all basically anything related to sound, we deal with that. We have been into this business for the last 14 years. So we have seen a, a nice growth in music. And yes, people are quite interested in music. As we know, everybody has a guitar in their in their home, everybody loves music and since uh, it's a Christian state there are a lot of churches who try to uh, attract the youth in the music field so that they can put their full effort in that and also slowly they are going to the professionals levels also. So yes, it, it's a capital of music in the North East states. So there you have it, this is Music World which uh, provides uh, music enthusiasts with various different types of musical instruments, different um, products and services as well from church sound systems to public announcement systems and many more. And like uh, the manager also just said that he does believe that Naglin is the capital of music so there are a numerous number of music enthusiasts that he has witnessed in the last 14 years. Reporter Esther with Camera Person Say signing out for Hornbill TV. The 12th dead anniversary of the late NSCN IM leader Kodao Yantan was observed today at his grave at Aite Pyong, Lakuti village of Woka district. In his address, M. Daniel Lota, Kilo Kilon Seraf, GPRN said that the Nagas and specifically the Lota Nagas need to come together with regards to the good deeds of ancestors. He also urged the people to emulate the principles of late Kodao Yantan, a tall figure among Naga freedom fighters. Updates on Tuesday said he delivered a message from the chairman and general secretary of the GPRN updates informed. Mohamira Chiji Halam Nia Pastor Rr Pastor Nia 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 Mi Kuan Yu Sada Tam Ho Tua Ma Nia Om Ho Pini Ki Tua La E Di Jung Ru Zay Le Po Tzu Nri Han Nia Chi Yusuf Vy Han Nia Chi Ay Kam Vre Dwe Son Do Do Ay E Di Nia Tengi Wa Shol La Zivon Zivon Jia Kam Vre Lo Lo Ay Che Me Nia Tung Do Do E Di Nia Tengi Wa Si E Di Nia Chokwa Sang Ha Da La Do Na Sikki Ng Mong Gu Le Chi La Kichung 
中外人人家人家一点呢，福建人家，一点都集中这么的蒙住这样子不得了。啊，我把你我把这他妈解释的，你咱人把穿了，一点我把这一路贴了侬，起码这得中着，你努力起来。你中间那是顶个长期在那里面弄了都，一点困难是不？ In connection with the IED explosions that injured ITBP personnel at Wangu Terra and the subsequent discovery of another IED, Kakting police have arrested five persons. In course of investigations today, based on credible intelligence input, and an operation was conducted by a commando unit in the morning in the Wangau Nuratil area. During the operation, five persons were arrested, updates on Tuesday said. The accused persons were involved in the three IED explosions, namely the February 20, 2022 IED attack on ITBP personnel, the IED blast on January 26, 2022 at Kakching Kunao, Lam Kai near the New York Bridge, as well as one IED blast in the Wangu Lam Kai area in the early hours of January 26, 2022, updates said. The accused were in touch with PRE PAK Cater from Myanmar and executed the explosion on their directives, the update said. Yes, sir. The follow up uh, for the unfortunate attack on ITBP personnel in Wangu Tera, different measures were undertaken by Kaching Police. This morning at 3 a.m., Aikwagi commando teams led by Shri Binay Chong Khan, additional SP Ops, Kak Ching, and Mohammad Abash Khan, OC commando unit Kak Ching, Ama Operation Taure. In that, five people were arrested who had conducted not only the ID attack on ITVP, but also two other ID blasts on 26th of January 2022. The five arrested people will be booked and under the FIR and investigation will carry on. In the house search that we did, three detonators and three batteries were recovered. Further investigation will follow and legal action National Youth Parliament Festival is a three-day convention of youth leaders held every two years wherein policy recommendations are formulated to address youth issues and serve as government's guide in policy formulation and program development. For this, states are required to conduct state college-level competition to pick three best youth leaders. District-level competition was held on 18th February and state level was held on 26th February. For 2022, three winners will be representing Nagaland in the upcoming parliament session in March. They are Y. Chingong, age 24, student of the Mapur Government College, who is currently pursuing MA in Political Science, followed by Sharon of St. Xavier's College, Jaluke, as first runner-up, and Menukrinio Kutso, age 23, of Kohima Science College, Kohima. The Western Sumi Sports Association today, while speaking to the media fraternity at a press conference, gave details about the upcoming football exhibition match that will be held on March 11 in collaboration with Musica Youth Net and Atoka Nagaland Premium Team. The name of the event is Match for a Cause, and our aim is to support grassroots football in the state, said Alabunaga, director of Musica. Let us have a look at the details. With on behalf of WSSA, Western Sumi Sports Association. This event is known as a Match for a Cause, and then advertisement we have already started on social media, so maybe some of you have seen it. The mission is uh, we want to you know, support grassroots football in the state. That's the main reason why we all came together uh, under the umbrella of WSSA. So when we say, when I say we, I'm talking about YouthNet, Atoka, Nagaland Premium T, and Musica. We all came under WSSA and we're all coming together for this. So uh, on the 11th of March this year, we are doing this event. It's an exhibition match between uh, United Sikkim Football Club featuring by Chingbutia, our uh, Padma Shri and Arjuna Iwadi. And along with that, uh, former Indian captain Rene Singh will be there. 
So they will be uh, playing against our Western Sumi Sports Association 11. And after the football match, we also have entertainment by Dreams Unlimited, uh, Alobo Naga, Zuchobeni, NK Naga. So uh, we have lined up the event like that. And the vision for this is, as I shared earlier, you know, the support of grassroots level football in the state. So our vision is we want to uh, train football coaches uh, and then uh, yeah, uh, how, many, how many coaches, sir? 11. 11, yeah. We want to pick 11 coaches and then send them to Siliguri, right? Yeah, Siliguri. Yeah. Siliguri and they will be trained under our you know, guidance of Baiching Bhutia and Renidi Singh. And then from there, we'll bring back these coaches and we'll train them in, uh, in the cluster targeted villages. And then from there, we want to form an under-14 team. That's the vision. And then... Uh, we also have a dream that one day these players, this you know, kids will go out and play in a, in a professional league. So this is one of the vision we have. And today we also uh, want to reach out to all the entrepreneurs or everyone who is interested. We're all coming together, like-minded people coming together to do this, as I said, to, to promote grassroots level uh, sports. So we want to invite any uh, entrepreneurs or any like-minded people who wants to partner with us. We're welcoming everyone today. And then uh, if anybody is sponsoring with us, we are also, this is for the entrepreneurs, you know, we have uh, so many packages for you, you know. We have like packages like we will be uh, making uh, all the platforms, use of all the platforms like uh, the social media, even my the Alubanaga talk show. So we, whoever are partnering with us, we will also try to help you promote your your brands or your commodities through through all the social media platforms, uh, hoardings, you know, uh, flags around Dimapur, and even we also uh, give you uh, like uh, spaces during on the on the venue, you know, during the event. So we also want to reach out, and not only for the business thing, but you know, we want we have this heart as a Naga. We want to you know we we can see our sports level, and we really think that we should all come together and then do something for our future generation. So we welcome everybody. Tickets will be out by today, so you will get the tickets at uh, Nagaland Coffee. Uh, herbs and spice here and also youth net office in Dipupar. The prices of the ticket we made it very reasonable so that people can come enjoy. So it's uh, the, for the general it's just 200 rupees. So 200 rupees and then people can come watch the football celebrity people you know playing football as long as and as well as the, the entertainment section. So it's just 200 for the uh, the gallery and we also have a uh, special packages that are 1000. It's like a donor uh, but that is only limited tickets. So these are the tickets uh, prices. Do you have a fixed number of tickets? Yes, yes, yes. So for the gallery, we cannot accommodate more than 3,000. So that, that's the limit. And for the donor, maybe 500. And there is no possibility of buying tickets online? Online we still haven't, but then we, uh, why not? We, we can also, they can, can take our, our music events online and then we can, we can help you. We are starting our program from uh, 2 p.m. onwards. So there will be a formal program initially. And then after the launch, we will play the football. And then after the football, the, the entertainment section will continue. And then the price of these tickets, is it inclusive of both the, the matches? Yes, 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 yes. Inclusive of both the football and the entertainment section. Regarding for selection of these coaches, it will be uh, what we have planned is for training up of coaches within Nagaland. So it will be selected by WSSA and then we will be sending it outside uh, Nagaland for training of these purposes and all. And it will be sponsored by WSSA? It will be sponsored by WSSA. This is the reason why before we train up or before we select these under 14 uh, students, we need a professional uh, trainers. That is the reason why, since we Nagas, we still lack of these trainers and all. So uh, we have planned to select all these coaches and all before in hand. All of you to please uh, be part of our event. And uh, as uh, our sister question right now, we 
always wait on the government. We always want to wait on the government. As I always say, you know, they're doing really good. But even in our own contribution, we should all come together. And then this is how I think our state will also grow. If we always wait for someone to do it, someone should, you know, be like that. So we are all coming together. So we want to invite everyone who are watching this also. Please come and be part of it. And then we can make a change together. And thank you to all the media fraternity here once again. And we will be sending invitation also. But then uh, this is our you know formal sure. invitation from <laughs> official invitation from us also. Please come and be part of our event. And uh, thank you so much. God bless. As part of celebrations commemorating 75 years of Indian independence, the Nagaland State AIDS Control Society and SACS conducted an awareness program on HIV, TB and blood donation today at Northfield School in Kohima. Speaking on the awareness program, District Program of Officer Sandy Mongla Tsidir said that after the completion of the program, there would be an online competition on the theme of HIV, blood donation and TB in schools and colleges. Tsidir also highlighted the causes and problems of HIV and the different stages of HIV and AIDS, ways of transmission and preventive measures, among others. Altogether, 36 schools and colleges have been covered in the Facewise Awareness Program. Updates on Tuesday said the program was organized by the District Level Committee on of Kohima. Awareness on HIV, TB, and blood donation. So, this new India 75 is uh, being held to commemorate the 75th year of India's independence. And uh, this awareness, as well as the online competition, is being held in a phase wise manner. So, we have already completed the first and the second phase, and this is the third phase where we are reaching out to six schools and six colleges. Each phase, we have reached out to six schools and six colleges. For the third and final phase, uh, your school is the last school uh, that we are conducting this awareness program in. And um, we, have, we have also completed the online competition as well. The last date of entry was 25th of February. So side by side the awareness program, we also had the online competition as well. So uh, this is just a short gist of what this an Indian student lost his life in shelling in Kharkiv Ministry of External Affairs. Spokesperson Arindam Bakchi tweeted on Tuesday. The victim, Naveen Shekra Rappa, is a 21-year-old medical student at the Kharkiv National Medical University and is from Karnataka. He was from Chalageri Haveri, had left for a nearby store to buy something. Later, his friend got a call from a local official that he, Naveen, has died. News agency ANI has quoted Manoj Rajan, Commissioner Karnataka SDMA, as saying, all efforts will be made to bring back Naveen's body in India, to India. The CM said that the matter is being negotiated with the foreign ministry officials. The Karnataka CMO said, meanwhile, news agency and I reported that as many as seven flights will land in Delhi tomorrow carrying stranded Indians from Ukraine under Operation Ganga. A total of nine flights have already brought back stranded Indian nationals from Ukraine. The Union government has deployed around 20 flights from Air India, Air India Express, Indigo and SpiceJet. Apart from these airlines, the Air Force has also been asked to evacuate Indians from the neighboring countries of Ukraine. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on March 1st said that in the era of Adman nearby Bharat, Manipur is moving fast in the direction of development and progress. Addressing people of Manipur via video conferencing, PM Modi said that this is the time of Adman nearby Bharat and this decade is a decade of development and progress and Manipur is moving fast in this direction today. <laughs> अब सरकार की कैबिनेट मीटिंग भी हिल डिस्ट्रिक्ट में होती है वीरेंद्र सिंह जी मणिपुर के लोगों के लिए बहुत ही सहज उपलब्ध रहते हैं मियामी नुमित और हिल लीडर्स डे जैसे गवर्नेंस मॉडल विकास का नए आधार बन रहे हैं केंद्र सरकार के मंत्री भी अब ज्यादा से ज्यादा मणिपुर और पूर्वोत्तर आते हैं और मैं खुद पूर्वोत्तर के विकास कार्यों की निरंतर समीक्षा करता हूं एक्ट इस पॉलिसी पर चलते हुए 
हम मणिपुर के विकास को नई